Go. Go. All right, here we go. 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 Going some porker. Yeah. A super indie game that we were asked to check out. It's like Pac-Man, but without the ghosts and more pack. <laughs> yeah, so even though you can just go straight for the exit, the object is to eat as much acorn as possible without eating any shrooms. So you can be the tastiest pig there is. Mm. Pigs eat acorns. Well, what's interesting, I was going to talk about this before we started recording, but I forgot to wait till we were recording, mm. is... I honestly don't remember the name of it, but I can tell you that whoever I skip those ones. <laughs> programmed this game or came up with the concept of eating acorns <clears throat> has at the very least the same knowledge as I, if not a <laughs> professional chef or watches even more Food Network than I do, <laughs> yeah. or food cooking shows, because... <laughs> There is a <laughs> type of pig. It's from, I think, Spain? Farm's having trouble talking because he's eating right now. <laughs> and I have a dog in my face. Um, I want to say Spain. I don't remember. It's so somewhere in Europe, though, there is a type of pig that's raised on acorns. <laughs> and it's supposed to be like, you can just like eat the flesh like raw. <laughs> and it's fresh right, off you know, the bone. Just like... Supposed to be like the tastiest, most succulent freaking like it's like extremely, extremely expensive. Um, uh, whoops, uh, ingredient, so to speak, as the you know, cooking network would refer to it. An ingredient, whoa, go on, you're gonna turn off the there we go. Thanks, just buddy. wanted to show you guys what happens when you die. That's why that's what's going on. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's an extremely no. expensive ingredient. And I really wish I could remember the the name of the type of pig, but yeah, like I, there was a, I watched an episode of Iron Chef where they had it, and they were talking about how like how you know rare it is, and how expensive it is, and how succulent it is, and how like you know you really don't even need to do anything to it. You can just cut the friggin' like the flesh right off the bone, and just like you know like in a thin strip, and just like feed it to somebody. And how like you know, and the big thing is that these pigs just like the where they ra their raise, there's just this natural like. Uh, acorn farm or like just just tons of acorns that they just eat and you know live off of so again not only is it like technically a you know it's pig so it's pork but like it's like the healthiest friggin pork you'll ever freaking have because it's just like packed full of friggin like omega-3 and like healthy fat because they just live on acorns which is extremely good for you hmm. so yeah fun facts huh. random random fun facts I, I suggest like Googling or Wikipedia if you're interested in what the fuck I'm talking about. And with like more information that's not babbling. <laughs> I like shrooms as much as I like acorns. And getting oh, hit man. and getting hit by tractors. Who drives a tractor through the pig field? Come on now. Right? I'm raising an expensive pig here. Oop. Oops. <laughs> Oops, sorry. <laughs> Whoa, that's you only got one. three lives, man. Your final score was slice of bologna. That's crazy. You should try again. I gotta go all the way back here, huh? Yeah, well, one. Sexiness. What's sexier than a big pork butt? Baby's got back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I like pig butt. And I can't on that. Shoot, other brother's gonna go to the exit. Fuck you and your acorns. <laughs> I've already seen the stage. Speed running. Speed running. So, an interesting thing about this game, also, that I've noticed or I'm realizing is it's not really so much about how many, you know, how deep you go into the game, how many levels you play, just so much as how many acorns you eat before you die. Hmm. Because again, you get your final score based off your tastiness, and your tastiness is based off of, like, you just hit the spam. You know, your tastiness is now level spam. <laughs> spam, it's a kick in a can. It's the best. You're now a side of chitterling. Damn straight I am. Sexiest pig that ever walked this farm. 
fucking sexy as balls, yo. <laughs> you like, you look like sexy as dick right now. Oh, look at this predicament here. You don't like look someone in the eye and say that. There yeah, the thing is, you can just leave anytime you want, but I mean, again, you want to get acorns. Well, I'll get to a new stage full of acorns. They just grew right back. I just think... Rocket it! It's one of those, like... Technically, you'd be better off trying to get as many acorns as possible, as early as possible. Mm -hmm. And trying to maximize the early levels before the difficulty is increased by going up in levels, you know what I mean? Mm. Since it's just based off of the number of acorns. Whoops. Now I'm high as fuck. Yeah, but that's boring. Let's go to the exit. <laughs> See, look, now we got a giant. There's a giant acorn. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Whoa. And now dead. No, slice of Because banana. difficulty. Yeah. Screw this stage. Skipping. <laughs> Let's go to a more difficult one. Oh, this one's easy. Look at that purple umbrella. You mean the purple shroom that you don't want? Yeah. Yeah, my way block my own worst enemy. Hmm. When you bite through their hard shell, it's just the best. Oink. <laughs> You're such an oinker. Oink. <laughs> You're now the equivalent of a ham and, see ham and cheese sandwich in tastiness. Really? Mm hmm. Not even a grilled cheese? Nope. Ham and cheese. Get crushed by the block. Oops. That's what, I hate. <laughs> That's what I hate about keyboards. Is using them. The using them parts that part I don't like. <laughs> level inspired by Frogger. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make it past the road that time. Nope. No! You ended with the final score of ham and cheese. <coughs> no! My piggy ass is gone to market. Come on. Oh, I put my food down, so now you don't want to hang out with me anymore. I see how it is. Yeah, fuck you. Get some food scrub. Tasty level lips and bungholes. Lips and bungholes. Field of acorns. This is this is the equivalent of this pig's field of dreams. Mm. But then it turns into a nightmare as the man on the, the the tractor comes crawling out. He's like, I seen Superman three, <laughs> where the kid almost gets killed by the haying tractor. Yeah. Good thing Clark Kent slash Superman was around. All the while, Lana Lane. Black pudding. Doesn't even have a clue. What is it with freaking Superman having a thing for chicks with the last name Lane? I don't know. Lana Lane, Lois Lane, Liggity Lane. <laughs> he wants to get in that lane, baby. Is all that girl? Let me get in that lane. Mmm, apple fritter. <laughs> Mmm, giant acorn. Canned lunchable meat. Oh shit. No. Oh shit. What the oh, fuck? Man. It's not fair. Double kill. <laughs> well, fuck this. I'm going to throw myself in the grinder. Damn it. Fuck ah. this game. It's impossible. Jim can't handle it. This is less like an apple fritter, more like a monkey fist. You're like a fucking fist your face. Yeah. Or monkey <laughs> knuckles or whatever the fuck they're called. Not pastry. Named after... No! The end of the arm of a monkey. <laughs> I don't recall this level. Oh, this is that level that I remember. The Frogger level. <laughs> You have the taste equivalent of something you could have got on level two. <laughs> I'm sorry, level one. Yeah. You taste like spam. Do, 
do, do, do, do, do, do. Not, I need a timeout. Shit's getting tense. It's really intense now. <laughs> <laughs> Boo! You should get a level randomizer it's for when you start to play again. <laughs> a level randomizer would be pretty cool. I agree. It does make it like an old school Nintendo game though, where you can just like memorize the patterns and shit, you know what I mean? Hmm. The path to ham. I wonder if you can, like, down-level your score. I mean, I know it will go down, but I wonder mm -hmm. if you can actually go lower than you started. No. <laughs> <laughs> like, you ate so many shrooms, you taste like shit. <laughs> I don't know. Possible. Whoa, whoa. Fuckers. <laughs> God save the queen. <laughs> Did you just call the queen a big giant porker? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's awkward. Waka 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 waka. Tastes like a hot dog. Waka 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 waka. Like a wasis hot dog or like just a just a regular like freaking generic run of the mill five dollars for thirty <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> <laughs> 88 Mostly centi? cartilage and hoof, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> now you taste like a slice of bologna. And now canned lunch meat. Damn straight. Blech. Does he burp every time he up it ups the taste factor? Probably. I say you know something tastes good. Yeah, oh, well, you know. Oh, that time. <laughs> now you taste like a ham and cheese sandwich. He took a bite out of his own ass and fed himself to the grinder. All right, I guess craziness. Ah, being chased by a shroom. Because reasons. Someday, Pork rinds. someday I'll reach my end goal of feeding myself to the meat grinder. Oops. Kettle washed pork crackling. Cracklings. Pretty sweet. Right, eighth weight. Totes my goats. Totes my goats. Machotes. <laughs> Froats. Machodes. No, no, no. Jesus. Bacon. You taste like bacon, dude. That's the best. You've reached a new level of tastiness. Oh, can. Oh, a South Park character. Candied bacon. Mmm. South Park character. Where the fuck am I? It's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's moving. Ah. ah! Just happened. You popped up at the bottom of the screen because it's like Pac Man. You can go off one side and onto the other. That's dangerous. It is dangerous. <laughs> you taste like uh, Ultra Mega Bacon Tricks Jr. Ultra Slings? Oh, come on. Oh, come on, man. It was like top of this track. <laughs> Cry out loud! Oh, you're down to tight to. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Fuck it. Oh, sweet, merciful Jesus. I don't know where I am. You're at the bottom, you just ate a mushroom. What? That guy killed me? I guess so. That's a whole new level of dicketry. <laughs> He's throwing freaking yeah, butcher throwing knives. Gigantic butcher knives at you. Doesn't this chef want me to taste good first? Well, you do. You taste pretty fucking delicious at this point. So you're ready to fucking eat your ass. <laughs> you're an ultra mega bacon tricks deluxe. Where's the exit? Oh, thought I had to defeat him. Yeah, you just gotta go right up the middle, man. Eh, yeah, screw it. Skip the stage. See you. Ah! Oh man, thing. that line of giant nuts. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Don't eat that bad acorn. Do you like the giant nuts? Yeah, yeah. Oh, Kung shit. Fu chicken. Shit, man. That thing will probably kill me, too. Yeah. 
Probably. Oh, man. Oh, no! Man. no! <gasps> he cheated. You're a double bacon infused uh, Polish sausage. <laughs> you're, getting, you're getting quite delicious there, oh! sir. You were going to be the, the tastiest little piglet asshole. Like, look at that. Look at that bouncy right ass. <laughs> They're like, we got to make sure this is uh, anatomically correct. <laughs> We got the tail. Just want to lick it all over. Asshole. Don't you just want to lick it all over? Because of the the pork taste, the Polish sausage. Pigs are filthy creatures. Actually, pigs are actually very clean creatures. I don't know. It's just the fact that they like to roll in the mud and got them the and stereotype of being dirty creatures. And they dispose of your bodies for you. What the fuck? Who is this? You can kill a dude and throw him in with a bunch of pigs, and they'll eat even the bones. Only if they're starving. If you starve your pig. And then they will taste like a double bacon infused bowl of sausage. So yeah, I think Porker is a pretty cool game. Dude it's who created this game. Yeah. I would like a, personally, I'd like a level randomizer just so, because I die a lot. <laughs> and Jim gets bored easy. easy. I get ADD. bored easy. I get ADD, you know. Attention and dickery disorder. Hey, when you taste this good. <laughs> Nothing matters. Leave a message. You guys didn't leave a message? Just randomly calling me? Yeah. Who brings a telephone nowadays? <laughs> Throwing razors at my face. There's the message. I gotta listen to this, Jim. I don't know what could be work. Um, over the weekend, you know, just try to prop yourself up a little bit extra. I'm like, as if, like, it's been years, but, you know, I, I might die this weekend because I haven't talked to you yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Good. Uh, I mean, it's funny because, like, I, you know, technically there is always that possibility, but, you know, it's still kind of funny. It's like, no, I mean, it's been, I've had sleep apnea for years. I mean, it's worse the last year or so, but, you know, I'm sure because I had didn't pick up the phone call right now, I'll probably die over the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucking cocksucking or Yeah, it was pretty funny. I went in, so I went in for the sleep study, and, uh... I didn't, like, the first half of the night, I didn't even really feel like I had fully fallen asleep. Like, I just was kind of felt like I just kind of kept nodding off for a second. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like, I had no idea how much time had passed. And apparently, like, you know, like, a couple hours had passed, you know, just me, like, waking up and constantly. And, uh, <laughs> all of a sudden she just comes barging in, you know, the, the technician comes barging into the room. She's like, all right, we got to get you set up on a mask. We got to get you on the CPAP machine. And I'm like, huh, what? <laughs> Because, again, I was under the impression that, like, you know, they had to get all the stats they could for the first half of the night, and then if it was bad, the second half of the night, they could set me up on this machine. And to me, it had only been, like, maybe a half an hour of me tossing and turning, trying to sleep, but apparently it had been, like, two, three hours. <laughs> so, she's like, okay, that's it. Yeah, we got to get you on a machine. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> so, like, we play around with a couple different mask setups. And, like, I couldn't really fall asleep with the first one that we tried. And she's like, you know what, we just, let's, let's just do the full mask. I think we need to do the full mask. I'm like, all right, cool, sure, fine, great, whatever. I don't care as long as it works, you know what I mean? Yeah. So she's like, a lot of people don't really like the full mask, but, you know, let's do the full mask. I'm like, all right. So I'm there. You know, she gets it all set up. I'm there laying in bed. Like, ten minutes go by, and I'm like... Man, it's weird because I'm like I'm trying to adjust to breathing to this, but it just doesn't seem like it's really doing anything. And I'm like hyper conscious of how I'm, so, you know, breathing. You know what I mean? Because like that's whatever it's all about. It's like you know, can I breathe? Yeah. And then uh, all of a sudden she comes in and she's like, something's not right. And I'm like, okay, cool. It's not just me. <laughs> and it turns out the friggin' like the hose had disconnected when she put it on. So like I wasn't even getting the, the effect of the machine. It was just me wearing a fucking mask. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So like I'm like, it, it was just like my hyper awareness of my breathing that made it feel like it might have even been doing something. <laughs> so then all of a sudden she like gets everything properly connected. And I'm like, oh, that's yeah. Night and day. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. There's air being blown into my face. All right. Cool. Great. <laughs> So then, like, three minutes later, I'm out. And the next thing I know, I swear to God, to me, it was, like, 30 seconds. Like, I was out, and the next thing I know, uh, Jared, it's 10 of 6, time to go. 
<laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> no, we just, we just, huh? Is that how normal people sleep? No, I just. <laughs> No, like they we go can't to, be. Like they go to bed and then wake up. <laughs> yeah, like can't we can't be, can't be like ten of six. Like it was I just, you just set me up on the mask. Like why why would you just set me up on the mask if I had to turn around and leave in thirty seconds? She's like it's been like three hours. I'm like not not ah, uh, what what's going on? So she's like, do you feel more rested than you normally would be? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm not used to. I mean, for one, you woke me up. <laughs> And I'm not used to anyone waking me up because I'm used to just already being up. <laughs> I'm just used to kind of like, you know, someone walks in the room, either if I wasn't already up, like I wake up because like I'm, I'm barely sleeping as it is and I don't know what's going on. Like, what the fuck? So I'm like, so this is what you people do? You bunch of sick bastards. You, you tease someone with like, this is what it's like to really sleep. <laughs> But fuck you, you only get three hours. <laughs> I'm just like, I want to go, like, I don't even normally wake up at six o'clock in the morning anyways. Like, I don't usually wake up until, like, ten. <laughs> Let alone, like, when I'm actually sleeping. Like, fuck, I'm gonna, <laughs> can I go back to bed? Shit. <laughs> Listen, you're, you're an asshole. <laughs> you people are jerks, sir. You bunch of sadists. <laughs> bunch you of like sa- fucking with people like that? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> So then she's like, here you go, you can take the mask home, you know, again, we, we can't reuse it, but, you know, this is the mask that you need, so we're gonna send it home with you. Cool, awesome, I have the mask I need. I don't have the fucking machine I need. <laughs> I have to wait, you know, it, until I got this phone call, I thought I had to wait two weeks before I was even gonna have a shot at maybe even getting a machine. So I just thought it was like this, just this giant dick tease, like, they're like, come on in, we'll lick your dick and then send you packing. <laughs> What? what? <laughs> like, it's not an ice cream cone. You better fucking suck that shit. <laughs> Vulgar. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> Hi, Garm. For all you young kids uh, watching this, uh, ask your parents. <laughs> now- Game Man told me to ask you about <laughs> BJ's. Garm's like, now's the time to climb on your lap. He's like, I'll lick your dick. <laughs> Put peanut butter on it. <laughs> Never done it before, but I love peanut butter. <laughs> peanut butter. I've licked it off Jared's finger. <laughs> Blood tra- sure, your finger, you say. Try and play a keyboard game, Garm. You're like, I'm gonna climb in your lap. Right on the keyboard. <laughs> hey, buddy. Look, it's the farthest I've ever made it. Hey, buddy, buddy. I feel like a superstar porker. You taste like biscuits and gravy. Sweet. Tastes like biscuits and gravy. Jenny and I was like peas and carrots again. You have nine lives, my ass. What did you do? Did huh? You cheat? No, I'm just fucking awesome. You're Shit. Just fucking awesome. You cheater. <laughs> You're a cheater. Oh, I'm dead. Whoa, you see that spin? That was like perfectly avoided me somehow. Phew. Get out of here, face cone. Oh my god. You're lucky, Garm. Oh, this level is brutal. He stepped right on the friggin' thing. I was like, now recording. And I'm like, what? But I never stopped. So that's good. <laughs> I don't have to murder the dog. The hell's this fire hey, light up? Oh, it's explosives. Oh my god. Someone saved my bacon. Oh, it's a dude. It's a boss fight. I, is that the exit though? I can just be like, doo 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 doo. Yeah, apparently. You taste like chicken fried pork steak. Ow. Bzz it. Okay, we're Run, out of here. motherfucker. <laughs> I did it, right? Or am I dying? That's You're a bad dying. thing. What the hell? Who established this rule? Because it's bouncing between exit and something else, so. Oh, really? Apparently, you have to trigger some stuff to make it stay on exit. That's some horse plucky. I'm trapped in this one area. Shit. One life to live, sir. What do I do? Maybe you'll get lucky. Punch him in the face? Maybe uh-huh. you'll get lucky. No! Check your privilege. Check your <laughs> chicken fried pork steak. Chicken fried pork steak. Motherfucking chicken fried pork steak. And that's the story of Jesus. That's the story of Jesus. Alright, everybody check out Porker. There'll be yeah, a go check out link Polka. in the description. 
That's what us YouTubers do. <laughs> because we can. 